With surveys, um, the content analysis is done for us. We think about the questions on the survey. And in essence, oh, do we have qualies here? Qualies. Everyone quant? Mostly quant. And who's a quali quant? This, that's lovely. I like that. I like that. People who know the best of both worlds. That's awesome. So these are, this would be the um, quantified content analysis. We decide what questions go on a survey. We want to talk about color. Are you satisfied with the color? Are you satisfied with the taste, with the parking lot? We know all the specific content areas that we want to cover on our survey. Easy as pie, we write up our five pages, we've got all our topics covered. And indeed, we do the exact same thing in the social media research space. We just do it after the fact. We don't write the questions beforehand, we kind of write them afterwards. So people make their comments, and I'm gonna start picking off the questions. These are the questions that had we done a survey, we would have asked. What country? Italy. What kind of uh, transportation? Cruise ship. What happened? It sank. Oh look, nasty me. Um, uh, first cruise, there's the date, November. There's the year, a couple years off. Um, so right away, we've got a whole bunch of different variables. We didn't pick them off beforehand, we picked them off afterhand because of content analysis. We can let the automated systems go through thousands, millions of comments and essentially pick out all the different topics that people are talking about. So with content analysis, as with anything, you're gonna write a survey, you're gonna make sure um, you write good quality questions and we wanna make sure that our questions are good quality as well. So here's a test for you. I would like somebody to use the word new, N-E-W, in a sentence. You cannot add letters, you cannot change letters, and it cannot mean brand new, just launched, debuted, cannot mean that. Help me out, use the word new in a sentence. Once you know the answer, you will kick yourself. Yes, sir. Tell me what you meant. Oh, that's spelled with a K. I misspell in my, uh, in my text and tweets all the time. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll give you that one. I still want another one. I went to New York yesterday. You went to New York. Where were you going? Go ahead. So new car wouldn't work in this case. Um, new, that new actually means the new we want. So if we were collecting together a set of verbatims, messages, about something being new, you've hit the nail on the head. Now these two gentlemen didn't quite do it. They have found a, a, a way to use the word new that doesn't actually mean new. Oh, you think I didn't know about the K-N-E-W, huh? <laughs> So this is part of the whole data quality work that goes into social media research. You can simply look for when are people talking about something new, N-E-W, and ta da I've got 10,000 conversations all talking about something new. Of course, say 75% of them are talking about New York and New Jersey, and then probably another 10% of them are people who are lazy, they make typos, they're trying to be way cool, fun, and they leave the K off the new. Uh, but there are many, many ways to use N-E-W that will totally mess up a collection of verbatims talking about something that is new. So that's something that you have to do. If you're thinking about thousands and thousands of variables, every single one of them needs to go through a process where we make sure that the N-E-W actually means the N-E-W that you wanted to talk about. So along those same lines, um, let's imagine your iPad and you're trying, or uh, the iPod, you're trying to decide what color should I release the next set of uh, iPods in. So you do all your social media research, you collect every conversation talking about any kind of color, and based on your research, you decide that brown is the winner. People are so in love with color brown, I'm gonna make a brown iPod. 
Of course, you don't bother to check your data. It's full of Charlie Brown. People love Charlie Brown. And it's full of Bobby Brown because people are making fun of Bobby Brown, and boy, is it fun to make fun of people. So if you don't look for that, suddenly Brown is in there a lot. It's popular, and we've got a Brown iPod that nobody buys. You want a gray iPad or iPod? I guess silver would be the word. I certainly don't want a gray one. Same thing. Um, is your iPad too heavy? Does it weigh too much? Does it weigh as much as a pound puppy? <laughs> the word pound is in there, but the pound puppy has nothing to do with weight. Same with pound sterling. It has nothing to do with weight. Just because the character string looks the same as the character string that we're interested in doesn't mean it's the right set of data. So when you're pulling together your thousands of conversations about the weight of something and you decide anything that mentions the word pound, that's talking about weight. If that's what you're doing, then you've got the completely wrong set of data. You're going to be measuring basically garbage. Um, data quality has to come through in every single component of the work.